Harlem Talk Radio brings you news and information at Stimulating Talk Radio on the Harlem community. That you are standing in the presence of Ms. Erin Cherry, Mr. Sean Phillips, Ms. Glena Gasco, Mr. Omari, Morocco Omari, right? And I had the pleasure of working with him again almost immediately after that. And I called him again, and he said, uh, William will be in, um, yeah, I'm going to be out of town. I, I, I can't do it. You said no to Woody King Jr.? <laughs> <laughs> I had to be at a wedding, man. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have did it. He knew it. Yeah, so uh, it's like every time uh, we get a great cast, you know, and we got a great play on, uh, Pat White, who's here, always says, um, uh, Woody, uh, what about uh, Aaron Cherry? Amazing, but I, I, I just, it's nothing to really do in uh, the theater unless you really find amazing, brilliant artists who just love their craft, you know. I met uh, Aaron at Crossroads, you know, and uh, just in the lobby, just talking, you know, it's, it's just a spark or just something, you know. You don't know, you don't know what it is, you know, and then a play comes along and... Mr. Woody King Jr., how did you um, bring this piece together? There's, there, it's an iconic piece and such a powerful message. How are you able to bring all the forces together to bring this piece uh, to the stage? Well, I think uh, Chuck Smith is going to come down. They went to get him. But Morocco did it in Chicago, and he was on this coast, and we started looking for him, you know. Um, and uh, Chuck Smith really, really... Uh, he and Lawrence Evans went through just so many ideas and just talking back and forth and they came up with I I don't even go to the auditions you know once I say um, look there's a sister named Aaron Cherry please 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 I don't go I don't go to the auditions so uh, you know, if you get a director, you got to trust okay. it. How did you all um, take on these iconic characters from the Harlem Renaissance? They're humongous figures, and it must have been quite a task. What, what, what did that feel like for you all? Well, Charles, Charles Smith wrote a, a beautiful play. It's, it's hard to mess up. It's actually hard to mess up. And all of our characters actually lived. They were real people, except for Jillian's char okay. character. Who and was, the character uh, that you played? Jimmy Lunsford, who was a big band leader in the vein of um, um, Duke and um, Cab Calloway. So he had a big band. He played at the Cotton Club. He's around Harlem. So I did a lot of research on, on, um, on Jimmy Lunsford. And I just wanted to do it justice. And the way that, that, that Charles wrote the play, it's just amazing. All you have to do is show up.